what his name is Jack and then you, you fight him in a car and <laughs> in the garage and he's just like backing into the corners like backing into the wall back into the, the how many three-point turns do you have to do to try and run somebody over in a garage and it's, he, he tried to figure it out he tried to answer that question are you kidding me what is this face man I've been spotted. I <laughs> didn't even have time to say I've been made. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of DP Live, not live, where um, my name is Dana Pond, and you would be watching a pre recorded video. So uh, today we've got a very special episode for you. It's episode 500, and today I am joined by my best friend, Pert Pickles, from Canadian indie rock band Lost As Found. And if you want to check out the music of Lost As Found, you can check out the links in the description below. So like I said, this is episode 500. Um, that <laughs> I didn't, I, I can't believe it. Um, we actually did it. And um, I wanted to make this episode a retrospective. I wanted to make it special. Um, so I've got um, all of the cover artwork for the games that we've beaten so far, and the games that we've played, um, <laughs> and um, I wanted to review it, and just look at the memes that we had from while we were playing these games together, and um, remember the good times and the jokes that we had in the chat and stuff, or just like <laughs> things that were funny, um, and the things that I remember, and maybe offering up a quick review or a summary of some of these games. Um, so, oh. Careful. A quick review, a summary of some of, su some of these games, and um, you're leaning, you're leaning a bit much. Yeah, um, so we can hop on into that, and um, I'll show you what I mean, I guess. Uh, <laughs> oh no, we can keep that up. Nah, that looks a bit weird. Um, so we were looking at this one, like Crispy Critters, Atomic Heart. So if uh, we remember this game, like. Um, <laughs> This guy swore so much. Um, that was uh, the mo the most swearing that I've had heard in a video game in a long time. It was okay. So spo spoiler alert. Um, when we're talking about these, we're gonna assume that like you played these games with us and that like you know what we're talking about. So just a heads up. Like I'm going to say some spoilery things um, about the about this game and the following games because we we beat them, and uh, we're assuming that we beat them together. <laughs> but like the two robots being the left and right hemispheres of his his dead wife's brain. That um, that was very Bionic Commando. <laughs> so and then we remember so Bioshock. Everyone knows Bioshock. Um, where is the Circus of Values? Where is it? I just want the store that sells the stuff that I need. Where's my store? Where's the Circus of Values? Where is the Circus of Values? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. I like the little little thumbnail here where I'm like the big daddy because I mean like in the game you become a big daddy by the end of the game. Pop in plasmids all the way. I like this one too. The Bioshock 2 Big Daddy Brainwash. I loved this cover art. I thought this was hilarious like getting like the lobotomy from the from the Big Daddy's drill. <laughs> Maybe he's just cleaning my ear. Who knows. <laughs> It looks violent, but uh, again, uh, where's the Circus of Values? Continued. Um, Bioshock Infinite, let's play. Oh, Infinite Fathers, Infinite Daughters. That songbird was creepy AF. That in that blimp battle at the end was way too difficult and took too long until we realized that you're supposed to be using the... Um, oh no, it's not Shock Jockey. It's the, um, the one that reflects stuff. You can... <laughs> I'd have to play it again to or pull it up quickly to remember the name of the thing, but you cover it in the thing that protects it and it's... Uh, Makes the last level a lot easier. That was a good game. It was fun to play. I <laughs> um, really like the character design in that one. Let's play Crisis Core. Um, I loved this game growing up absolutely so much. I thought that Zack was such a cool character and for Final Fantasy VII I thought that we didn't get to see enough of him and then when we got Crisis Core I was like, oh man, this game's gonna be the best thing ever. And it was, it was the best thing ever. And going back to it, uh, the battles are a bit difficult early on, frustratingly so. And I'm sorry that I'm not playing it more. <laughs> well, we, we haven't finished this one yet. Absolutely a game that's 
important to me. Dark Souls. <laughs> Um, when we were doing our SL1 run, Soul Level 1, does anybody remember the zombie outbreak, Dead Rising? This one was surprising how many people actually like really liked this series. It was, um, it picked up the views on my channel, honestly, and uh, I was like, oh, people want to watch me play De Dead Rising. That's crazy. That's awesome. Love it. And uh, we got a lot of people in the chat on that one. Brad! Brad! Come on, Brad! Let's go! Let's go, Brad! <laughs> Come on, Brad! Come on, Brad! Let's go! Brad, come on! Come on, Brad! Brad! Um, oh, we're trying to get the Mega Man stuff. Haunted animatronics, let's play FNAF. <laughs> oh, you're coming for me. I know, I have to like trigger it by like... Oh, I, I look at the camera and then I put the camera down and that's how he gets me? I think probably my favorite FNAF game is FNAF 1, um, and or FNAF Security Breach, Haunted Animatronics. I don't know, I, I like this cover, I like this thumbnail, I like this art. <laughs> that was back um, in like early DP Live. Um, Haunted Animatronics, FNAF 2 is a fun game, that's a good one too. Uh, Haunted Animatronic Robots, let's play FNAF 2. Uh, again, that was early DP Live. I, I think we made it to, well, we made it to Night 7 in, in this one, in the first FNAF. And we made it to night five in FNAF 2, right? I think I'm remembering, I hope I'm remembering that correctly. This one, so frustrating, I stuck on night four. Uh, here he comes, check the vents. <laughs> it's spring trap. For, for a game that only has one person who can actually like get you, he's su he gets you surprisingly often. I am so stuck on night four, and I, I've looked up like walkthroughs, guides, tips, and strategies on how to beat it, and nothing that I can come up with. <laughs> And uh, same, yeah, sister location. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for FNAF streams. <laughs> and actually eating ice cream here. What can I say about sister location? I like this one. It's, it's, I like the aesthetics. I like the, it's, it's creepy. It's creepier. It's the, the whispery voice. The whispery robot voice is creepy. It's eerie. Um, I hate the mini arenas so much. Mini arenas for days. <laughs> Siri overheard me say that I hate the mini arenas and said they don't understand. <laughs> um, oh, yo, it's FNAF Security Breach. Um, no, I think this one is my favorite FNAF game. I like FNAF 1, but I to play, I, F FNAF Security Breach is my favorite one to play. I've been spotted. I ah! Didn't even have time to say I've been made. Frick, who's your who's your favorite? Um, probably Roxy, obviously. <laughs> the fun fun battle was um, the hole in one um, hole, hole in one hurricane with Monty at uh, in Monty Golf. That was a fun battle. Shattering Chica's beak was iconic um, in like the trash compactor thing. And uh, Freddy calling me the superstar, calling us the superstar. Good moments. What else? Gregory! <laughs> that, that came up so often in other games after we played this. Gregory! Every time there's a security room in another game, it's Gregory! <laughs> oh, Ghostwire Tokyo. That was a good game. That was... I really didn't even know what to expect going into it, um, because I hadn't done any research. Dude, I didn't even see Chica when I ran through there. <laughs> But I saw that they had it, and I saw that it was new, and it looked really cool, and it looked, it looked creepy. And um, for a game that's not uh, a horror game, it's it's a horror game. Just the aesthetics, um, <laughs> and the rain, and uh, so the design of some of the um, some of the enemies in this game. It's definitely a game worth playing, and a game worth revisiting. <laughs> Why no pet? You like Half Life too? <laughs> I wish that this picture was a little bit higher quality, but it's a, it's for a thumbnail. Um, yeah, I love Half-Life 2. I grew up on Half-Life 2. I had it on Xbox, and then um, once I had a computer that could handle it, I had it on there. <laughs> and then I bought the orange box. Um, I love Half-Life 2. I've played through it over and over and over again. <laughs> and we don't go to Ravenholm. Hi-Fi Rush! That was a fun game. Um, I really liked that, and it was a bit buggy. What, can I say Bethesda title? Oh, without getting... 
It was a bit buggy, but it was a good game, and um, it, I liked the music mechanics a lot. I loved, I loved the character design. Um, the whole team, they were all just like endearing characters. For a game that like was, I don't know, you progress to the stage and you battle the guys, you progress to the stage, you battle the guys. It, for that, uh, as, a, as a game design layout, um, it, it didn't get boring. Um, <laughs> the, battles were, the battles were continuously interesting, and there was always like new stuff being added, and like lasers. <laughs> friggin lasers you had and you had to get good at blocking like you had to learn how to play the game it, it forced you to learn how to play the game and use the mechanics that you were given and i liked that about hi-fi rush chai hi on life <laughs> okay i really liked this video game um i know that in our playthrough of it the first couple videos the audio from the game was quiet and i'm sorry for that i've been considering replaying high on life um if you guys want me to replay high on life i, I would um, it was a solid game. I liked um, the jetpack. The jetpack was probably my favorite thing about it, just like flying around and using the jetpack in the game to look at stuff, um, because there's a lot of stuff to look at, and it was a very visually com like compelling and interesting game. Yeah, I, I don't remember too much meme stuff. I know the talking guns were hilarious, um, and when when we finally unlocked that goal, the commercial at the end, um, <laughs> I wanted to platinum my on life. I thought it was a game worth. Uh, oh, do we say platinum for Xbox? Uh, I wanted to get all of the trophies on <laughs> for High on Life. I thought it would be worthwhile. That one was a fun one, and the ca again the character design was really interesting. Um, Hollow Knight. We're still playing through this one. Um, this game is adorable, and I love. It reminds me of old Flash videos um, done right, and it's it's like um an HD flash game um, with Dark Souls mechanics <laughs> and um, like it's difficult but rewarding it's challenging but fair and it's really again just like visually compelling uh, it's good <laughs> the bright colors um, for a game that's in underground and in the dark it's got a lot of really pretty things to look at and a lot of things that glow and shine and um, <laughs> we do need to play more of this game Life is Strange. I really wanted to take a stab at that game like myself. Um, <laughs> I watched the, the theorists play it and I absolutely loved this game and I wanted to get my hands on it and uh, so we did a playthrough. Uh, we saved Chloe, which is uh, the obviously correct choice. <laughs> I don't think we had many memes while we were playing it. I think people took it rather People were just watching. Uh, it was another popular one on the streams. Like people enjoyed watching the let's, the let's play. It's a great game. <laughs> the portal gun. It has no charge. Yeah, I thought that was the perfect place to use that. You would want to. You would want to do that on portal. It's the only time that you can. <laughs> portal is a great game, and uh, for a game that like came out uh, so long ago. And a lot of people watched me play it, and um, that was awesome. Um, both both Portal and Portal 2 people were interested in. I guess it's just GLaDOS. <laughs> and seeing how people solve the puzzles. Um, seeing if there's new ways to solve the puzzles. Um, GLaDOS is back. <laughs> I thought that was good cover artwork for the game. Um, <laughs> I, I, did like play I do the playlists, and then I pick the cover artwork for the playlist. To try and get people to watch the series. But there memes i mean the game is full of memes on on its own head <laughs> brilliant writing wheatley is great uh pray neuromods are evil is what it says yeah neuromods are evil i looking back on it i liked prey uh while i was playing it i didn't like prey i got frustrated with the mechanics and the floating around in the free space and the trying to find stuff and getting injured while i was like in free space floating into stuff too fast um, that part was frustrating, um, but it was free space, and I should have appreciated it more because it's here in space. Yeah, I wished that I could have enjoyed it uh, as much as other people did. I did enjoy it, and I, looking back on it, like it was creepy, and it it was weird and new and in spacey, <laughs> and um, it kind of I I don't know what it reminded me of. Um, it it was unique. <laughs> Uh, I wish that I didn't get as frustrated with it as I had, it, because I, I, wanted, I wish I could have appreciated being in space more. Leon or Claire, let's play Resident Evil 2. That's what that one says. Resident Evil 2, that was, I mean, for, for a remake, um, I, that was a phenomenal game. Um, fun to play. Uh, yeah, uh, 
what, what is there to say? It's Resident Evil. It, it was awesome. It was a great game. Uh, <laughs> Uh, trying to unlock everything and get all of the guns and like solve all the puzzles is, I mean, you want to solve as many, like all of the puzzles before you finish the game. Zombie shooting title with uh, great writing. <laughs> and let's play Resident Evil 3. Um, I liked getting to know Carlos. The nemesis, what a crazy guy. Um, he had so many forms in this game. It was really unreal. It was, <laughs> it just, they just kept coming. This isn't even my final form. That's exactly this. He just kept coming back, and, and and same with, oh man, um, I thought that they really did it right and did it well with the mechanics for these games. Um, they played like the old Resident Evil games, um, but they handled um, almost like uh, well, they're, they're third person knee shooters. Um, but uh, I just thought that they they were really tight, really well done. The alternate um, artwork uh, for Resident Evil Three. Um, I did this for the last video in our fight with Nemesis, um, so it was this this artwork for the whole series up until the last video, like the finale, and this was for the the last boss fight. <laughs> and um, <laughs> Resident Evil Seven, oh, that was a fun one. Okay, what what the heck? Again, uh, talking about speaking of people who j just don't die. What his name is Jack. And then you, you fight him in a car uh, <laughs> in the garage, and he's just like backing into the corners, like backing into the wall. Back into the, the, how many three point turns do you have to do to try and run somebody over in a garage? And it's, he, he tried to figure it out. He tried to answer that question. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what is this fight, man? Um, <laughs> yeah, the mold and Evelyn and like, I remember you see her, um, throughout the game and like, she's at the table and, um, she's in one of the rooms when, right after, like, they, they basically gave it away at one point. And I was like, why is the old lady here in this room? And like, I, I should have, oh man, <laughs> should have said, should have spoke up, should have said something. But like, that was the point where they just straight up gave it away that like, it's the old lady. I like the mold aspect. Um, new directions for Resident Evil. Okay, Resident Evil Village. This is most recent for us. Yeah, um, so Resident Evil Village, that was a fun game. I like the story. I like the idea of it being a book. The, what was the Village of Shadows? I don't quite understand how it's like Rose in the four flasks or the four little vial chamber things. Are we to assume that they like chopped them up and put them into the four things? Or like, probably? Um, <laughs> Um, but what they're, they have regenerative abilities, and uh, so they could, they could heal themselves if they wanted to, maybe. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see Ethan dying coming on the, I didn't see that coming, no. Um, uh, Lady Dimitrescu and the Crystal Dimitrescu. Did you notice that we were looking at the Crystal Dimitrescu? Do you know that we're doing a reference? As that was a bit, um, I mean, like, obviously appreciate the, the Crystal Dimitrescu, but, um, th that was, that was a reference. <laughs> to another let's play um but yeah uh playing i had a lot of fun with village and um i'm sorry that the stream quality was that was chopping out uh, near the end of it and because i really wanted to just uh, play through the whole game with you guys <laughs> is, is that all i think that's i think that's all of them <laughs> so yeah um that's just a brief look at like some of the games we played and like some of the some of the artwork and uh, some some memories and some of the stuff that i remember anyway about these games and highlights, things that sparked in my mind when looking at these pictures. Um, yeah, and these are the games that we played on the channel, and like, we're, we hit 500 videos, which is crazy, and like, a lot of those videos are these games, and um, it's not just these games, I mean, like, I've got um, personal videos, I've, well, not like, yeah, I've got personal videos on there, I've got um, music videos on there, I've got original music videos, I've got covers on there. And, and we've got the video games on there. Like, there's a lot of stuff on the channel. But um, for 500 videos, um, I wanted to just kind of, like, celebrate and remember that. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> we've played a lot of games. And let's see, what else should we be looking at? 
Um, oh, the fake commercials. The fake commercials on the channel. I'm not going to pull those up. Or should I pull up a fake commercial or two? Um, but, uh, yeah, there were fake commercials on the channel for a while, too. And there were rants. Um, <laughs> there's a bunch of stuff to look at. But uh, thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out, and thanks for playing video games with me and Pert. And uh, just remember that uh, my name is Dana Pond, and that you watch this DP not live, um, not in real time, but on a pre-recorded video. And uh, that, like again, this is my best friend Pert from Canadian Indie Rock Band, Lost As Found! And if you want to check out Canadian Indie Rock Band, Lost As Found, you can check out the links in the description below. Um, if you enjoyed this video, click the like button. And if you want to catch me next time that I go live, um, subscribe to the channel and uh, ring the bell to turn on the notifications. And um, <laughs> you will get a notification when we are going live and you can come talk to me live in the chat. Um, because if you catch me in the chat, I will catch you in the next episode. So thanks for watching. Um, <laughs> not a stream, but a pre-recorded video. A pre-recorded video for you. Bye-bye. <laughs>